Hello and welcome to Siguro the World of Managers. I'm Sven and today I built a temple base. Similar as you can see on these pictures, hopefully. I got different bases from my father. He assembled these himself. Thank you again for this. They are looking very, very good. On such a base, I planned two pillars in a desert region. I bought these small pillars on eBay and it will be very interesting to get rid of these shine and the small 3D printing lines. As it's so often, there's another size comparison to a normal non primaris space marine. Right at the beginning, I plan a floor made of built-in stones. I want to make these from a material that absolutely everyone, really everyone, has it at home. Cardboard. This cardboard should cut well. In this case I use the base as a template. With a completely normal pen you can draw absolutely any stone shape on the cardboard. Simple and very very easy. Here I have already started to separate a part and place it on the base without glue. Every stone should be cut out, so you can simulate different heights and each stone works pretty well on its own. As you can see, I use basing glue from WWS for gluing. It doesn't dry too quickly, but especially cardboard sticks very well. Of course, you can also use any other glue here. Expect plastic glue, which goes without saying. I don't want to pave the entire base with stones, but leave special gaps. I want to sprinkle sand in these later for an old look. It should appear as if this temple ruin has not had a visitor for a long time. Now we talk about this sand. I don't have any fine beach sand or anything like that right now, but a while ago I ordered these little grey pebbles through Wish. These can simulate almost any type of substrate. I fill the gaps in the stones with glue and then sprinkle the sand over them. You can use several levels of sand to make it look more realistic.
in the end I always try to waste as little as possible. Then the two pillars are glued to the base with the same glue as before and I also like it when the broken column is easy to see. Thus, with a miniature in front of it, several different levels are created for the viewer. A few small spots still need to be touched up. Here you can be brave and use a lot of sand. Some stones may disappear, but towards the end it looks all more beautiful. At least, I think. Then it goes outside. Priming is the order of the day. It is extremely cold in Germany right now. Too cold for me at least, so get back in very quickly. So everything is primed and ready for the first coat. We use different colors for this, which can improve the overall picture, especially in the desert scenarios. Death white for the different levels of brightness. Bone white for the general desert tone. Beastie Brown for shadows and old surfaces in a mix and Sun Yellow for small accent in the sand also in a mix with different other colors I mentioned before. A mix of death white and bone white is applied to the pillars. Well, now let's darken our basic color a little by adding a little bit of beastie brown. Here I paint the color in the deeper areas on the pillars and in the places where little light falls.
Then the stones are painted with a mix of bone white and a little bit of sun yellow. The stones look like they are being hit directly by the sun. Of course, you can set accents with dev white by yourself, depending on how your base should affect you. Okay, now let's paint the sand in more detail. Here I make sure that it is very bright at the beginning. In addition, the color should be different from the rest. For this I also use a previously, previously mixed color variant sun yellow plus bone white. Then we take some dev white and grab our dry brush. The highlights of the sand can be worked out well with a few white color pigments. If you come to the pillars here and touch them with a dry brush, that's not so bad because here too highlights are useful and pleasing to the eye. Now the step that I always like the most, because it is so easy. With a few tricks you can make a mini or a whole base look wonderfully cool. We wash the base. For this we use the wash soft tone from Army Painter. We mix it with a little bit of bone white so that the recesses in which the wash is placed uh, don't get too dark.
In order to work out further highlights and to improve the shadows, we now mix a second wash by our own. Here we use Abaddon Black and combine a little bit of color from Abad Abaddon Black with clear water. Then we apply our own darker wash to the base where we want it. I am more a fan of dirty bases, so I use it on the sand and stones at all. As a small note, I don't use normal water, but destillate water. This can be bought or you can use your water from your own dryer after you have filtered it. Since I want the base to be a little livelier, I place small tufts from Army Painter on the base. Here you should place a tuft firmly and finally pour a small drop of super glue. Don't worry, nothing grows here anymore, but sticks extremely tight to the base. You can use as many plants as you want. Everything is possible here, but you shouldn't overdo it. After all, your mini still needs space. I'm a fan of pigments that can be applied directly to the minis or bases with a brush. Here I use live color pigments, this time European Dust 112. Try to set the pigments carefully, too much can totally ruin your whole base. And we come to the end. Please remember, it's very important. No base is beautiful without a clear black border. Take the few goddamn seconds. Paint your base at black. It looks so much better. Please do it. Okay. Which miniature should I put on? Wait, wait, hey, 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 not you. No, your time has not come yet. You need something completely different, believe me. Something black and bad and dark and go play with the others. Come on. You know what? I let you decide. The choice is yours. Space Marine 30k style. Normal Primaris Space Marine. Also Primaris with a wonderful standard. Primaris Chaplain. The miniature of your choice is painted and glued to the base, everything with a video, of course. All that remains for me now is thank you for your time. If you liked it, 
a subscription would be wonderful and extremely important for me. Even a thumb up would be great. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments below. And I wish you the best. Please stay healthy. Your Sven.